In this video, we will discuss different pasting techniques you can use in Inkscape. Copying and pasting are essential functions in most software, allowing users to duplicate and move content easily. Control-C copies the selected item, and Control-V pastes it in the desired location. In Inkscape, duplicate that is Control-D and copy-paste both create copies of objects, but they behave differently. Control-D creates an exact copy of the selected object directly on top of the original. Whereas, copy-paste copies the selected object to the clipboard and then pastes it where the cursor is placed. Moreover, duplicate requires the object to remain selected to make its duplicate. While in copy-paste, after copying with Control-C, the original object doesn't need to remain selected for pasting. Let's discuss some different pasting techniques. If you go to the Edit menu, here in Paste there are different pasting options. Let's start with In Place. First, copy the object. Now, the Paste in Place pastes the copied object in the exact location it was copied from, like this. You can also use the shortcut key Control alt v It is just like Control d the only difference is you have to copy the object first. Next is Paste on Page. This technique is used to paste content from one page to another at exact same location where it was on the copied page. For example, we want to copy everything except the title and paste it on the other two pages. The standard Control-V paste disturbs the position of pasted content that you have to adjust manually. But the Paste on Page option will paste it where it was on its original page. This option saves time and helps in making theme-based documents where you need specific information on each page. Next is Paste by Style. This option applies the style of the copied object to the selected object. For example, we want to apply the style of this rectangle to these objects. For this, copy the rectangle first. Select objects you want with the same style and then apply paste by style. You can also use the shortcut key Control shift v As you can see, all three objects fill, stroke, and opacity are changed as per the copied rectangle. This option is ideal for quickly matching the appearance of different elements. Next is Paste by Size. This option pastes the size of the copied object onto the selected object. For example, this square size is 50 by 50 millimeters, and we want this red rectangle of the same size. For this, copy square first. Select the red rectangle and apply Paste by Size. As you can see, its size has changed as per orange square. This option changes both the width and height of the selected objects as per the copied object. To change just width, use Paste by Width. For example, we want to apply the width of the orange square to the green rectangle. For this, select the green rectangle and apply Paste by Width. Now, only the width of the green rectangle is changed as per the orange square. Similarly, Paste by Height is used to change just height. For example, we want to apply the height of the orange square to the blue rectangle. For this, select the blue rectangle and apply Paste by Height. Now, its height is also 50 mm, but the width is not changed. You can also use these options on multiple objects. In that case, all selected objects combined will take the width and height of the copied object. For example, if I select red and green rectangles and apply Paste by Size, then you can see they combined have changed their size, not as an individual. They both are 50 by 50 in size. If you want each selected object to have a size of the copied object, then paste by size separately is used. For example, if I select all yellow rectangles and apply paste by size separately, then each yellow rectangle is resized as per copied orange rectangle. Similarly, to apply only width and height on each object separately then paste by width and paste by height is used. For any queries, feel free to contact us on our website or our social media, their links are in the description.